Hello, this is for children of Syria. We know that you have been suffering a lot. I am a very famous player, but you are the true heroes. Don't lose your hope. The world is with you. We care about you. I am with you. Since what I was what I was young, um, I always learned: if you give, the God gonna give you the double. So this is what's happened in my life. Since I started to do that, everything in my life become better and better. So I will still carry on to do that because I think it's it's important and I feel good when I do that. Incredibly That's important the Zakat night part of learn. Ramadan, the zakat, the poor Jew as it's sometimes translated. And this is really the first point of order today, which is to discuss the meaning of the term zakat, sometimes zakah, and to discuss, if we could, some of the significance of uh, the term zakat in Islam. Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam, ala rasulillah, wa ala ahli wa sahibi ajmain, amma abad, awuzu billahi min shaytani rajim, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Rabbi shahli sadri wa yisalli amri wa ahlul uqdad min lisani yafqahu kawli. As far as the literal meaning of the word zakat is concerned, zakat is derived from the Arabic word zaka, which means to purify, which means to increase. It also means blessings and goodness. So zaka yeah. means purification, or cleanliness, increase. It means goodness, it means blessings. In Islamic Sharia, zakah is an obligatory charity which every Muslim who has a saving or a surplus wealth which has reached the nisab level or above that and stays with him for one complete lunar year or one hijri year, he should give zakat on that surplus wealth yeah. which is most of the time 2.5%. Mm -hmm. This is the Sharia Islamic meaning of it. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, in Surah Tawbah, chapter number 9, verse number 103, take alms or give charity, give zakat from the wealth so that it will purify and sanctify them. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Rum, chapter number 30, verse number 39, those who give gifts in order that it will increase their property through the gifts of the other person's property, it will have no increase with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Hmm. But those who give charity, seeking the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they will find an increase therein. And zakat is one of the pillars of Islam. A beloved Prophet Muhammad said, it's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number one, in the book of Iman, book of faith, hadith number eight, Muhammad said, that Islam is based on five principles. The first is, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. There is no God but Allah. And Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the messenger of Allah. Yes. The second is establishing salah. Third is giving zakat. That is obligated charity. The fourth is performing hajj. And fifth is fasting the month of Ramadan. Which all of us are doing, alhamdulillah, now. So zakat is one of the important pillars of Islam. There are various verses of zakat which Tell us what zakat is, even various hadith, which is the significance in Islam. Allah says in Surah Anfal, chapter number 8, verse number 3 and 4, that zakat is a sign of belief. Hmm. It says that all those who believe and establish salah and give zakat, they are the true believers. Yeah. That means zakat is a sign of true belief. And a beloved Prophet Muhammad said, it's mentioned in Sahih Muslim, volume number 4. Hadith number 6264, he said that when you give charity, it does not decrease the wealth. And if a servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if he forgives, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increases his respect. And if hmm. he shows humility, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raises his status in the eyes of the people. So charity does not decrease the wealth. It rather increases the wealth. And by zakat, there is unity and brotherhood among the Muslim ummah. The full Muslim ummah throughout the world is like one family. And a person cares for the others. 
the rich men, they give zakat to the poor. And they feel that as though they are part of one family. And the beloved Prophet Muhammad said, it's mentioned in Sahih yeah. Bukhari, volume number one, in the book of Salah, hadith number 481, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi said that one faithful believer to another faithful believer is like the bricks of a ball. They support each other like the bricks of a ball. And he interlaced his fingers of his hands like that. So it brings unity in the Muslim Ummah. And the one more verse in the Quran which describes Zakat in a nutshell. Allah says in Surah al hashr chapter number 59, Verse number mm. seven, speaking about zakat, that it prevents the wealth from circulating amongst the rich. Yeah. So it is sort of an economic order in Islam, zakat. So brother and sisters, I hope you have watched today's video and I hope you like the video of Dr. Zatan Knight because Dr. Zatan Knight always gave answers according to Quran and Hadith and I hope you have watched his video till end. So in the first part of today's video we have watched a video of famous footballer Cristiano Ronaldo. As everyone knows that Cristiano Ronaldo is world most famous and world most followed footballer in the world. And as everyone knows that he always gives charity to poor people around the world like he gave charity in the Syria, in Africa and in Palestine as well. Well, why he gave so much charity he already told us in today's video because he believed that if we give to a needy person you will reward it more for those charities and he also said that i feel good whenever i give charity so this is the power of charity this work of his made him so popular now he is the most famous footballer in the world so guys what do you think do you think that what work he is doing is according to islam or not please let us know by giving your comments below and after that we have watched the video of dr zatan knight in which a question was asked to him about zakat in the video dr zatan knight told us that why zakat is important and is compulsory in islam and dr zatan knight also told us the meaning of zakat which means is double or injuries in islam it is considered that if you give zakat to needy person allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will increase your wealth and everything that is important for your life so guys what do you think what dr zatan knight says is according to islam or not please let us know by giving your comments below and if you are satisfied and if you are satisfied with the video of dr zatan knight then it's a request to you guys please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so whenever a new video will be published you will get its notification first see you guys in next video till then allah hafiz